This time, we will have a look at the automatic drawing of radiators as well as their adjustment in Revit. We use this project of an office building for this purpose. The building analysis and the heating load calculation have already been carried out, so we find all rooms in the Ninja building. As an example, we look at the first floor and first lay out the radiators. How this works in detail, we've already demonstrated in one of the previous videos. We use a flat panel radiator from Pomo and do the dimensioning for all selected rooms on the first floor. We're doing it by using the redimension function and the program now determines the optimal number and size of radiators with the corresponding capacity for each room. So now all radiators have been dimensioned for all selected rooms and in the next step we want to transfer them into our Revit model. Of course, all radiators should be placed in the model with correct dimensions and their individual connection positions with all technical data at the correct height. Sounds complicated, but with Linear it's quite simple. We use the command draw and now we're asked if we want to place the radiators automatically below the windows or if we want to define the position for each one manually. I decide here to place them automatically and start a command. In the top view in Revit, we can now see very nicely how one radiator after the other is transferred to the model and correctly positioned below the window. Radiators in rooms without windows can still be added manually afterwards. You can also define the detailing of the radiators in advance and thus set whether the radiators are to be transferred to the model as cuboids, in simplified or in detailed geometry. In our case, I decided to use the simplified representation and after the positioning is finished, we see in linear building marked in color which radiators have now been transferred to the model. Let's have a look at one of the radiators. In the properties, we see that they have been transferred with all necessary information. Both the selected product with manufacturer information and the calculated parameters such as mass flow and heat capacity are now stored at the radiator and thus included in the model. Through the direct connection of Revit and linear building, you also have the possibility to make changes very easily. For example, we can change the connection position of these two radiators. Using the pipette tool in linear building, I can easily navigate to these components and change the connection position. Here I change the position from right to left and can then transfer these changes to the model using the refresh function. In order not to update the entire project or the entire floor unnecessarily, I select that only this room with its radiators should be taken into account. Confirm the command and the radiator is updated in a model. If I zoom in, you can see that the radiator has been adjusted accordingly and the connections are now on the left side. I can also proceed in a similar way if I want to choose another manufacturer. In my project, I've already defined an alternative radiator from Kami in the default settings and can now select it directly in the list. If I change the radiator type, the program asks me if I want to exchange all radiators of this kind. I agree, and now the radiator dimensioning is carried out again with a new radiator type and also in this case, I use the refresh function again and thus transfer our changes to the model. All radiators are now updated as desired. In the properties, we then see that now a Kami radiator is used and of course, the newly calculated capacity and mass flow values were also transferred back to the model. That's how easy it can be to draw in and adjust radiators with Linear and Revit. This is workflow instead of workaround. Mm -hmm.